Starting off, the 4K monitor I actually chose to switch to was the LG 27 UD58, which is a fantastic budget 4K monitor that I got for about $400, but as of this point, it has been going for as low as $260. I'll have my review of this monitor in the upper cards of this video right now. My first reaction to the 4K monitor upgrade was mainly relevant to the increase in real estate. This was thanks to the much higher resolution coming from a 1080p monitor and a retina display, this was a very nice upgrade, something that has completely transformed my editing workflow and because of this, I don't think I'll be going back to 1080p anytime soon. The first thing I noticed when I started using my 4K monitor properly was simply just how much sharper everything was on the screen. Due to the increase in resolution, I had a lot more space on the screen, meaning that I had to rearrange some things, but other than that, I was pretty much good to go immediately. I did need to scale everything to 125% in Windows scaling, and max scaling was automatically perfect, so I went from everything being a bit too small to just right. It did take some getting used to, but now I can never go back, as the extra screen real estate is a very nice thing to have. Now, the next thing I noticed was in editing. Not only does this monitor have superb color reproduction, but the extra resolution, thanks to the extra pixels, was a very welcome addition to my editing workflow. Not only was editing easier because of the larger workspace, however, previewing the rendered files afterwards was also a lot easier because I could really see the detail in my images, as all of the videos are shot in 4K, but before this point, I could only preview the files in 1080p. In fact, the only negative I could actually find when editing these 4K files was in media, as my workspaces were a little skewed from using a 1080p display, so I did have to spend about half an hour perfecting them, but after that, editing was pretty much perfect. Then, after all the editing was done, I decided to load up some games. It was as if there was new life in my old 2014 titles, as I could play them at full settings at 60fps, which is the upper limit of a lot of the 4K monitors I've seen, as most people aren't gaming on them. Another common trend with these 4K monitors is the longer response time of these higher resolution panels, which is just something to take into consideration. When I did the response time test, my average was 12 milliseconds and my highest was 9 milliseconds, so there really is no need for me to get a higher refresh rate monitor. I simply prefer the way my games look, and I almost always go for graphics over these super high frames, as I play mostly story games, so I don't mind being capped at 60 frames per second. A nice thing was that I was expecting that I was going to have to duck a lot of my settings in order to get playable frames, however this wasn't actually really the case. I am still using a GTX 780 Ti and only in my newest games did I have to dock the settings whatsoever. I did recently do a video on this and it will be on the screen now. Now did I need to upgrade to 4K? No. Did it completely remedy all my workflow issues? Also no. But was it a damn fine upgrade and one that I wished I'd made years ago? Absolutely. 4K monitors aren't suitable for everything, but for my day-to-day -day workflow as well as some light gaming, it is a fine addition to my peripherals. Thank you for watching, remember to like the video, if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe, there's one thing left to say and that is goodbye.